Hi viewers. Well, I guess you could say I'm into a new and stupid thing. Um, car related, of course. Uh, and it's not so stupid when you think about it. Most of my cars are classics and they're not good in the snow and I don't want to get them rusty anyway. But um, so my project, my new and stupid thing is to get a winter car to drive. Um, First, I was thinking, get another old car that I'm not so worried about. But then I thought, well, it's winter. All my car nice cars are parked. What do I care? Get something nice for as cheap as I can and save some money and then resell it in the spring for more than I bought it for. What could go wrong, right? <laughs> That's my plan. And so I did the other usual searches, Craigslist, Facebook, and I saw some, but I didn't go see any. Actually, I saw them online, didn't go see them. Then I hit on this special thing, which is online auctions where dealers and other people who are into scrap cars and reselling cars, where they all go. I was like, well, if they can do it, why not me? So that's what I'm doing. And here I thought I'd bring you in on the process and then you can all do it too or not. So the main company that resells cars online through online auctions to dealers and basically in the gray market that goes beyond on beyond the consumer, behind the consumer, like the place where insurance will sell their cars if they get in a crash or hail hits them or where car dealers sell from one person from one to another is called Copart. It's on the screen behind me. They're the biggest. There are some others, but they're national. They happen to have three lots in Minnesota and many others elsewhere and auctioned a bunch of days every week. So I've been watching. I have this little list of ones that I like. There's a 2004 Honda Pilot. Only 300, so 50,000 miles. Hey, what a deal. And right now the bid is $150. It's going to go to auction in a day. Um, here's another one. Let's see. A Ford Escape. Current bid is $600. Um, going to auction tomorrow. 160,000 miles. Um, they give market price too. And these prices are all way lower. Um, and well, here's one I shouldn't be looking at, but I am. Let me open it up here. It's fits in with the kind of cars I usually buy. Bad winter car, right? 1978 Mercedes. Cool car, if you ask me. It's actually, um, some of these are have been in an accident and they're sold with salvage titles. Some have been donated, like if you donate a car to NPR, it might show up here. Most of the ones I look at, the worst thing I'll look at is hail because I can't fix a car anyway with body damage. But if you dents don't really bother me. So I have all these going and now I'm ready to bid. I should mention some of these cars are reserved for people with a business uh, and uh, like basically a license to sell cars, like a dealer's license. A lot of them are open to anybody though. Like anybody can go on here and bid and buy and all that stuff. And I'm anybody, so that's what I'm doing. And um, it's not a user-friendly process, it's more for experts, but it's possible to get a deal, I think. I bid on one car already. It was, um, well, it was a Honda Pilot. And um, some of the cars they'll sell outright for whatever price is the end. Some have to get approval from whoever the owner is. So that's what I'm doing now. The one that I bid on uh, was a donated car and the, uh, I bid $600 and the seller wouldn't take that price. So that fell away. Now I'm waiting for the next auction. I'm gonna bid on a few more. So I got the auction up. Here's how it goes. It goes really super fast. And music goes and you can see them bidding right there. It says where you're from. This isn't this car I'm not interested, I'm not bidding, but it's going up and up. That's way over my price. I'm my limit for a car for the winter is six hundred bucks. And then um, once you've applied and gotten online, you have a bid limit. And mine is about 2000 bucks, even though I'm not planning to spend it, unless I get super tempted. Um, you have to, you get 1000 to start. You can put a little extra money down and then get a multiple of that. So I'm at 2000 and here's the bid going. And when it's my turn, I'm going to bid and see what we get. All right, so here's what I'm interested in. It's a BMW X3 3.0i. Oh, 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 it started out at 500. It's already over my bid. Oh, six. And I'm in a big quick 700 there. Oh no. No, that's more than I want to spend. 
Oh, they just beat me. Um, oh, there it goes. Should I do it one more time? 775. Um, uh, yeah, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Huh. Still, oh, bonus time. I still have a chance. No, that's more than I want to spend. Ugh, someone just bit it up anyway. So that's how it goes. Mm. I got so into it when my car came up, I forgot to video. So sorry, viewers. Um, but I got a car. I restrained myself. Um, here it is. It's a 2009 Volkswagen Passat Turbo. It's from the south. They let you look at the auto reports. Um, la la la. Looks in good condition. I know, boring for me. I'm kicking myself. It's so boring. But it is a winter car and it should do. There it is. Ooh, pretty red motor. Look at that. But I got it for 600 bucks, um, minus a few fees for the service. And now it's in outside in a suburb outside of town. So I guess I got to figure out how to pay. Um, and then I'll go get it. I have a new car just in time for winter.